Hey guys, it's Steve here from The Checkpoint and today is Thursday the 16th of July 2015 which means it's time for another episode of The Talk Zone. In the background you'll find some Pearly Bridge gameplay. I've been really enjoying playing this game. It's a nice little fun, cutesy, quirky little game. I actually put an introduction video up on the channel today, I believe at around 6pm GMT. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, it's just a brief introduction to what the game's all about and uh, stuff like that. So I'm sure you'll enjoy that and and well, I hope you enjoy it because I put a lot of effort into that one. I was trying to work out audio settings and little bits and bobs to improve the video, like the annotation in the top left to purchase or download the game. So that's a nice little touch I put in there. So I hope you go check out the video. And uh, yeah, so Pearly Bridge is just such a fun little game. I think I'm going to be playing and making more videos on this because it's such a fun little quirky game. And, you know, I was introduced to it by... Um, various youtubers who have been playing it and i thought it just looked really fun i gave it a go and lo and behold it was easy to pick up and it's just so responsive and polished and it's just a great game it's just an all-round great product so this week was comic con and this is going to be kind of a comic con special because we don't really talk about anything apart from games on this channel and i think the talk zone is a good way to kind of fit in some things we might have missed that have gone on in the uh, media and gaming and movie and you know music world and stuff like that because it's not strictly restricted to video games the talk zone is kind of like, it's almost like a podcast in a way but small very small uh, on a much smaller scale so um, yeah comic con happened this week and there were various bits and bobs shown there so we had the uh, suicide squad trailer now in my opinion uh, the suicide squad is it's looking good to be honest i think um Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn really sold it to me, uh, but I was kind of surprised of how Jared Leto's Joker has kind of it's kind of changed my mind a little bit. I mean, on appearances, I'd say this is uh, I, I'm not really that pleased with the appearance they went for for the Joker for the whole look, you know, with the tattoos and the teeth and the stuff like that. But it surprised me um, when we first got a glimpse of him in action. He truly does seem like a psychopath and. That is, to the core, what the Joker is, so, uh, you know, that kind of surprised me, and I'm glad to see that Jared Leto will probably do a really good job of this. Maybe not up to uh, Ledger's Joker or Nicholson's Joker, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll surprise us. Also, we had the Batman uh, vs. Superman Dawn of Justice trailer. Now, I'm so worried about this film because, as a huge fan of the Dark Knight, uh, Dark Knight? Yeah, the Dark Knight, not the, not to be confused with the, the light Adidas or the, or the Dark Umbra. No, the Dark Knight. No, um, the Dark Knight trilogy. So I'm, you know, I'm a massive fan of that. So I was kind of wary, and this hasn't really done anything to alleviate my worries. I'm sure it looks, it looks gritty, it looks realistic, it looks super cool and stuff like that. But I can't stop thinking about how many characters are going to be in this movie. It's Batman versus Superman. Okay, so there we go. We've got a straight up good versus evil. Um, well, a one-on-one -on -one battle, and the thing is, if you're watching the movie, you're going to be siding with either Batman or Superman, so already you've got some sort of dichotomy between the characters, but then you add in Lex Luthor, and Doomsday is rumoured to be in it, and also Wonder Woman and Aquaman, and I just feel like they're trying to shoehorn all these characters in, because Marvel have had so much success with you know, the Avengers series, you know, big collaborative movies. I feel like they're leading up to Dawn of, uh, not Dawn of Justice, the Justice League, but I feel like they're trying to just, they're doing it too quickly. The reason why Marvel's collaborative effort in form of the Avengers was so successful is that it built up each character one by one in their own solo film. And with this movie, we have at least four superheroes that are going to be in the Justice League. And then we also have two villains, so it's kind of like they've just sat there and thought, "Oh, look, look, look what Marvel are doing! They've done the Avengers. That we we've got the Justice League. We can do the same thing. We can have the same concept, but instead of building each character up, we'll just have them appear, and that'll be like, oh, look, this character's here. That means he's in the Justice League, or oh, look, Wonder Woman's there. That means she's in the Justice League. They're not actually building the characters up, and that's what I'm worried about. It's gonna be, just going to be one chaotic big mess because. They haven't really developed the characters well enough uh, to put into a huge collaborative effort because when you watched the Avengers for the first time, you knew Captain America and Iron Man were, were going to get on. You knew that the Hulk and Iron Man were going to get on. You knew that, you know, Captain America and, and Thor were going to have 
differing opinions on things because they come from different you know societies and stuff like that but with the justice league they're kind of just all thrown together in this big mess to make you know fanboys cheer because all the characters are there but i don't know that's just me spitballing also at comic con we got the black ops 3 zombies reveal which was very cool to see uh, shadows of evil looks very interesting i'm gonna say right now i'm not a huge fan of the title i feel like they were trying to go for a old time movie you know setting and um you know noir setting and shadows of evil is it's kind of funny because it, it's a name you'd expect to see from like an old time film like an old time slasher horror film like shadows of evil but in comparison to other zombies maps like ascension or shangri-la or you know all these cool named maps like kino de turton and, and stuff like that uh, shadows of evil seems a bit generic you know what i mean the the title seems a bit generic but I don't suppose that really matters. What matters is the gameplay, and the gameplay looks really, really fun. They've added a bunch of new things in. They've kind of just flipped it completely um, to what I was expecting, and yeah, it looks really cool. I'm not sure about the four characters yet. I'm sure I'll get used to them, but it's not like I can't go ahead and play the giant bonus map, which was also revealed. The giant looks spectacular. I'm more excited for the giant than I am for Shadows of Evil. Let me just put it out there now. And that's because I'm just a huge Zombies storyline fanatic. I'm really interested in the whole lore behind Richtofen and Group 935 and, you know, the Ascension group and, you know, stuff like that. I'm really, I don't know, I just, I really like the look of the Giants and I think it's going to be really good. And we also have the original characters coming back in the Giant, which is always a bonus. In terms of stuff that's happening this week, uh, what, what what's going on? Ant-Man's coming out. Uh, it might already be out by the time you see this. I'm not sure. Actually, I think it comes out tomorrow in the US. I'm not sure when it comes out in the UK. It might be a bit later this time around since we got Avengers early, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that, that should be good. I've seen mixed reviews on it and stuff like that, but I think it'll be good. I've There's not a single Marvel movie I dislike apart from Iron Man 2 and maybe Thor 2. I don't know. They, they were just... They weren't bad films. They were just subpar. Do you know what I mean? They were just bad movies. Well, they were just subpar movies. Uh, when compared to other uh, movies available in the Marvel Universe. Uh, what else is happening? Uh, Kieran will be back very shortly, I'm sure. I think he's back on Sunday. What he did, right, he went He went to either the... I think he went to the Lake District or something like that. He went somewhere, right okay, and then he came back and within two days he went somewhere else again. So, or, it, or has he gone to the Lake District now or the Peak District now, wherever he is? I don't know, but he came back and then went again. So basically, I had two days of Kira and then he's gone. But once he's back, he's literally back for the whole summer. I'm going to be taking about one or two weeks off in at the end of this month because uh, my parents are going on holiday. So my girlfriend's coming to live with me. So obviously, I'm not going to spend all my time on YouTube. I'm sure I'll be able to update you and stuff like that, but I'm not going to be around as much. So I'm kind of gearing up for that. I'm probably going to have a load of scheduled videos ready to go up. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any games you want me to look over or play or whatever or do Let's Plays of, then please let me know because I will be happy to do so. But aside from that, I think I'm going to wrap this up. These have been getting a lot shorter recently and it's not because I don't want to like keep speaking to you guys. It's just that I run out of things to talk about. There's just in a week, you'd be surprised how little happens sometimes. And, you know, it'd be... It'd be, um, it'd be an injustice to keep waffling on about random stuff and keep you guys waiting. So I, I'm going to keep this one short and concise. Comic Con was good. Black Ops 3 Zombies looks good. And Kieran is somewhere. Okay, that's basically the conclusion of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will talk to you soon.